a question. Um, listen, I, I, there are, there are so, there are so many things, so many things to say here. You know, we're, we're not just talking about years of racial inequity. We're talking about centuries and it's not just various systems of, of racism. We're talking about the entire foundation of our nation. Um, and so racism is embedded in every single part of our lives, particularly for black folks, particularly for people of color. It affects every single interaction we have. And so it's, it's an incredibly important, and there's, there's so many different ways to approach this question. Um, but because of the time constraints, I, I will pick the, I'll pick the education piece because it's particularly close to my heart. Um, I grew up as a black kid through Vermont public schools. I know exactly what it's like to be a black kid and experience racism in our schools. It is not kind, it is not fun, it is not quiet. And I've heard too many stories like mine since I have left these schools. The stories and the research align black students, indigenous students, students of color, queer, trans, non-binary students, students with disabilities, and especially the students at the intersection of those identities experience disproportionate punishment and interactions and disproportionate interactions with law enforcement in school. I was lucky to have a couple of guardian angels in my life that helps me make it over the finish line, but luck shouldn't determine whether or not our schools are embracing students with love and care. Luck should have nothing to do with it. And that's why I am incredibly proud of my work on federal legislation, including the Ending Push Out Act and the Counseling Not Criminalization in Schools Act. Both, is, both are federal pieces of legislation that would provide anti-racist, trauma-responsive supports to schools while addressing root causes of harm, uh, harmful behavior towards students, particularly taking cops COPS funding, funding in the COPS bill, it's, that's the acronym, COPS, um, out of paying for police officers in school and making sure that schools have the adequate ratio of social workers, school, school psychologists, nurses, and guidance counselors in schools. Um, you know, there's, there's, so much, there's so much more to say about this, but we cannot address inequality until we address how our students move through education and also cancel, cancel student debt.